Hello, my peepers. This is Shaleen of the Color and Book Nook, and I am going to show you what's been going on this week. So, as you know, this past weekend was Spooktober Colorathon, and I started this picture here by Emily Illustrator. And this was, this is on her Etsy shop. This is one of the pictures on her Etsy shop. I didn't want to do sweet corn. I wanted to do it, the Indian corn. Well, that's what we call it. I'm not sure if that's politically correct anymore, but um, I did that kind of corn. And I was using Prismacolor pencils. So I need to finish this. I don't know when, but it will get finished. And for Carloween, on Carla Magena's website, she has this cute freebie. So it says Carloween. The website is, is www.carlamagena.com. Magana, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I always say Magena. So it's cute. She's a devil. She's got her brows and her pumpkin so go check it out and print it up and color it for carloween so i'll be doing that this month i am so excited so excited look at it's not done fairy grandmother all of the cross stitching is done all I have to do now is add the beads. Yes, add the beads. But I cannot find my beading floss. I bought a clear beading floss a long time ago. I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. So I went on to Down Sunshine Lane because that's my number one online cross stitch site and she didn't have it at least it wasn't on her website i should have just text amy because i am good friends with her i should have just text her i wonder if this is wrong here i need to check this area here um so yeah i went so i ended up ordering it on one, two, three stitch. Is that right? Through there? Yes. No. I don't know. It just looked funky. Yeah, that's right. Yep. It's supposed to be a gap there. Okay. Okay. So, I am really excited to be finishing this so once the thread gets here it, and I haven't even gotten an email that it was shipped out so um, once that gets here I will spend a whole day adding the beads they're all throughout here they're also in the background they're up in here so I am so excited this was lavender and lace Lavender and Lace, number 42, Fairy Grandmother. And I did this on 28 count. Here, hold on, I'll show you. 28 count Monaco, because that's my favorite. Oh, Monaco is my favorite fabric. I don't know why. I just love it. And it's an it's an even weave. I don't I'm I'm not much for linen. I'll stitch on it, but I prefer even weave. And it's hand-dyed fabrics by Stephanie. I don't even know if she's still in business because I started this eons ago. And the fabric color is called Nantucket Sky. So, yeah, I am so excited. I cannot wait. And you know, once the beading thread gets here, I'll probably find mine. But I tore my cross-stitch area apart. Can't find it. So there is that. And then I decided to do number generator with all my cross stitch whips to see what I should work on next. 
splits, honey. So my my two new cats are working out really great. That I adopted from my sister in law. Um, Blitz is the calico. She now all week comes out of my bedroom on her own. Right now she's in the hallway. She she never used to come out till it started to get dark out, and now she's out all the time. Um. Allie no longer hides in my bedroom, but she stays in my bedroom all the time. I'm hoping she'll eventually come out. She seems more of a scaredy cat, so if Pearl's giving her a hard time, she just stays in my bedroom. And Pearl right now has been sleeping on the foot of the bed during the day to keep an eye on them. So um, she's... She's not fighting with them, but she needs to back off. But yeah, Blitz is out. I don't know where she went now. But she curls up with me on the couch when I'm cross-stitching and diamond painting. Anyways, so I did the number generator. And this piece won. So this is a Heaven and Earth Designs. It's called Fly Butterfly. It was a freebie back in 2009 in celebration of Fairy Day 2009. Come here, Blitz. Come here. People might want to see you. Can you come here? Come here, honey. Come here. Want it, want... Can they come see you? Can... Yeah? Come here. Oh. So this is my Blitz. She is a pretty little girl. I'd like you to see her face. She has a beautiful face. And um, she was my sister-in-law's. She's now mine. I do let my sister-in-law know what's going on with her and how they're doing. Anyways, I hope she jumped down. <laughs> She's going on the TV stand. So this artwork... I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Ching Cho Kuik. And that's what it looks like. And I started this June 24th of 2009. And it, like I said, it was a freebie on their website. And this is what I have done so far. Um, I did work on it a little bit yesterday. I finished like this square. I put some more up here. So um, I don't know how much will get done today. I'm going to go visit my parents today. I was supposed to go Monday, but my sinuses were really bad. And I had a sore throat. So I'm going today to go visit my parents. So probably not a lot of stitching. I will get some stitching because... I cross-stitch until 8 p.m. before I switch to diamond painting, and right now it's 9.30 a.m. I'm As soon as I'm done with the video, I'm going to go get ready and go visit them. So, um, I will be getting some things done. But, yeah. So, that's what I've done there. And, what else? So, I've got my... My A5-6 ring with my Halloween from Coco Daisy. And, yeah. So, I write in here when I do live streams and when I post pictures. In fact, I need to write on here. I did a live stream Saturday. Um, I did a plan with me video. I need to take some pictures, my planners, but yeah, I'm having fun. I put stickers on here, and there's more here, puffy stickers, and then um, I need to fill this out still. I know today's the 8th, and I still haven't done it, but any of the color lawn or diamond painting the lawns that I want to do, I'm going to write here. And then on here, it's all the Instagram color lawn and diamond paint in the lawns that I want to do. And then the, my finishes for the month. Um, Facebook color lawns, diamond paint in the lawns is there. 
social media, how many followers and subscribers I had starting October 1st. So I always keep track of that. And then again, my weekly spread, um, Halloween. So, yeah, that's how I'm using this one. This is my social media. I wanted to try it with the Halloween. So, you know, that's how I have that set up. And then this week's been in my, my catch-all. So, um... I have my chores for the week here. Um, what I'm doing this week, which is cross stitching and reading, because the readathon for Shadow Lounge monthly readathon is Friday the 9th. Early, you can start in the morning till late Sunday night, the 11th, and you read as much as you want. There's no um, challenges or anything, it's your own personal challenge. So that's what I am doing this weekend, but I've made it a whole week. I need, I want it to where I'm reading one book a day. So I finished a book yesterday and I started another one. I have like two hours left in it. So I will be able to finish that today. And then all weekend, I'm not doing anything but listening to my books and crafting and my craft is cross stitching so I should get a lot done well this week my goal is reading but I'm cross stitching while I read and next week my goal is cross stitching so um yeah it won't really change what I'm doing now except next week I'll add in a movie uh, in the evenings where right now I'm not um Tuesday the 6th was National Mad Hatter Day. Did you know that? I love Alice in Wonderland. It's one of my favorites. And um, I watch every day in the morning. Rebecca from Crafting Journey does like a 30-minute video of like her diamond painting or she knits hats. And she talks about that day in history, and she let us know that it was National Mad Hatter Day. So I did that. Um, last night, I watched, is it Purple Crafts Door? Purple Door Crafts? Sherry. Um, I watched her live stream, and then right after that was Tia's, is it Crafty Adventures? Something like that. I watched her live stream. Tonight I won't watch any live streams. I do need to start watching Belinda again. But I'm waiting to get through. I I printed up the picture. I pay, I bought the picture on Etsy that Belinda, which is Color with Faithful Girl 1978. Um, I, print, I bought and printed up the one that she started last week. And I did not get to watch that. There is a lot of videos I still want to watch in color from the Colorathon because I did not color with them during the Colorathon, but I want to. Um, Jennifer Zimmerman did a glowing pumpkin. She showed how to do that, so I still want to color that. And Karen Valentine did Mrs. Grim Reaper, and I want to color that. So um, I got to rewatch hers. I. I just wanted to be in the live streams to chat with everybody and then go back in and color along with them. So that's what I will be doing sometime down the road. Um, if, you, if you like to watch me do the planner videos and you set up with me. So Sunday's video, I will be using fall seasons. We will be doing all fall here. And then, um, like, memory keeping the week after that for, like, Halloween and fall. And then seasonal, which will be this this spread since the 31st is Halloween. This is going to be all Halloween. I have so many stickers for Halloween, so they'll be getting used up. But, yep, that's it for this week. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I did buy, buy glue dots for um, diamond painting. 
I am trying all different ways of using wax and whatever for my diamond painting. A lot of people swear by these glue dots. I don't know. This seems awful chintzy having them spread out so far apart. But they said just scrape this up in your the little dot in your pen. And it lasts forever. I'm sorry. I've got the hiccups now. <laughs> so I bought that just to try. I can't get rid of the hiccups. <laughs> um... And I'm trying to think what else I have. I still have three diamond paintings that were pre-ordered that I'm still waiting on. Two of them are from Bella Safina. And it's to, they're called Ocean's Edge and Sally Seashell. I pre-ordered those in August. And on Diamond Art Club, I pre-ordered Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble, something like that. And I pre-ordered that September 9th. I'm still waiting for that. Um, Etsy, what do I have? I finally was able to order Circle Portraits by Laura Rafferty. I've been wanting that book for a long time. It hasn't been available. It became available. It is now on its way to me. Mystic Art Mirrors, the newest one. Um, I ordered back in like July and she wasn't shipping out because of the COVID. So that finally got shipped out. So I'm waiting for that. I ordered some more of Not Your Mama's Mud for diamond painting. It's a wax. I ordered three or four cents and I'm waiting for those. And I just ordered a tray. I said the only last thing I need as far as accessories is I want a nice tray. So I ordered a tray yesterday. And um, I'm going to try that. What else is going on? I do still need to order two diamond paint and pens and then I'm set. I want something for December for Christmas. And I want one that that's for March and has to do with St. Patrick's Day. So just like green, a green, pretty, pretty swirly green type of diamond paint and pen. And then I'll have 13 diamond paint. Well, actually, I'll have more because I won one from Crashly. I'm still waiting for it. But I have this one from Enablers Outpost. This one I keep on my table here, so when I make a video of diamond painting, I can just use this one. It's already here. Uh, and so I'm all set. And then I have like five of these, and I never have them in here. So when I do my unboxings, I can actually show you if it's the, if it's the size of the glue area or the whole canvas so that is now on my table here i think that's it and everything else has been going really really good i've read one book every day this week i've been i signed up for too many blog tours this month and i'm booked up i think november when am i booked up nope so, um, November, I, how many blog tours do I have? So, November, I have one, two, three, three blog tours. It's how I want to keep it. Because I want to read more of my Nat Galley books and books that are sitting on my shelves. In December, I have one, two. So I will keep it that way also. I don't, I want to keep it between two and four every month. 
just so that I can read all my net galley books for re that are for review. Whatever authors send me, like Judith Keim sends me her books. I'm on a launch team for Kalia Cross. So whenever she has a new book out, I have to read and review that. And yeah, and I have so many authors that I've been reading for years that I need to get caught up on. So my goal is to do less blog tours. I'll do two to four a month and just read books for review. This way I'm not stressed out trying to finish a book on time, even though I try to start them. The first two weeks of the month is when I've been reading just blog tour books and I'm not reading what I want. This month I am overbooked. So, yep, because the new year, yeah, two to four a month. That's it. That's it. Um, I need to get the books read. So that is it for today, I think. I don't have anything else to share. I have been playing a game on my phone. It came with the phone. It is solitaire. Um, it's called Tri Peaks. Oh my gosh. I am addicted to this. So every few hours, I'll play a couple games. It is very fun. I joined a club on there, so you get more points. But yeah, I play this all the time. Every 20 minutes, you get a 1,000 coins because it costs three. Well, it depends on what level you're on to play. Um, it starts out with, like, you pay 100 coins. I'm up to where it costs me 3,000 coins every time I play a game and you earn coins by play by meeting quests and all that I'm up to 82,000 coins I'll play until I get down to like 25,000 coins I'll just keep playing during uh, throughout the day and every 20 minutes when I get the free coins I get a notification on my phone and I just go pick them up so I have been playing that game a lot um, I also play on my phone Toy Blast or Toon Blast. It's called Toon Blast. I played this on my other phone before I bought this, and I was on level 700 and something, and when I got the new phone, it does not let you... pick up from where you left off on your account. I don't know why it's not fair. So I had to start over from the beginning. And I was telling my son Dylan, and Dylan goes, you think that's bad? He goes, I was on level 1,000 and something, and I had to start over. So, yeah, I play that once a day. Um, I haven't played Sims in a long time. I could play it on my old laptop, um, but it's slow. And I still have not had my PC fixed. I need to do that. Um, I think that's it. I'm still waiting to hear from Spectrum when the new internet will be here. I, oh, I ordered from Penny, or not from Penny's, from Target. So I opened up two browsers, one for Penny's, one for Target. I need a new comforter on my bed. I have watched. I have washed my comforter so many times that, you know, in between the material, you have that soft, cushiony stuff. Well, that's all bunching up inside. So I told Scott, when I get the new comforter, when it needs to be washed, we're taking it to the laundromat because it's too big for our wash machine. I think that's what's ruining the comforter. I don't mind putting it in my dryer, but the, the wash machine, I don't think can handle it. So I ordered that, that comes Tuesday, and then today I have a new pillow coming because um, I buy a new pillow every year. I notice when my back and my neck starts hurting that that's usually because I need a new pillow. So I did that. I switched out the uh, cushion and the, yeah filter for my CPAP machine. I do that every month. So that's done. Um, 
in a few days all the cats are getting treated again for the flea with the flea and tick medicine I don't know what it is about this year with the fleas but we can't freaking get rid of them my cats and my sister-in-law said her cats have all been treated every single month we've all sprayed our houses with flea spray that you put in your carpet and your furniture my sister-in-law has done flea bombs she says she has done everything she possibly can she could not get rid of the fleas we have not been able to get rid of the fleas my other sister-in-law says she's had a horrible time it must be just a really bad year with the fleas so i'm hoping because the colder weather's coming that it'll start getting better but i'm hoping this is the last month they need the flea and tick medicine till spring we'll see a lot of times my cats have had to have it all winter long especially when we had ruby because ruby was very allergic to fleas if you guys are having any issues with the fleas let me know because it's been horrible even poor daenerys we gave we give her flea medicine every month i gave her a bath last month you should have seen that this the tub was just full of them it was just horrible so here i think that's it i have a doctor's appointment next wednesday for a checkup and getting my nails done next wednesday um nothing else going on this month that i know of i know i need to clean the kitchen today that won't take long i've been keeping it clean i just need to sweep the floor i might mop it before i leave yeah it's now quarter to 10 and i want to get dressed and get going and visit my parents but I wanted to start doing these kind of videos every morning and then my luck, I'll keep up with it and then I'm going to end up having to babysit. So I'll do this when I can. Let me know what you think. Um, I got the idea from Craft and Journey. We don't have the same subscribers. We might have a couple the same, but mostly my subscribers are coloring and planners. Uh, so, um, I thought I would incorporate what I've been doing. I am staying caught up on watching General Hospital. Um, I haven't watched any movies this week just because I'm focusing on reading. So, um, uh, Monday night I will start watching a video, a uh, movie every night. I did DVR over the weekend, um, Medea Boo and Medea Boo 2. I've only watched one Medea movie. I've never, I like Tyler Perry. I've watched him, uh, is it Good Deeds? I love that movie. Justin and I went and saw that in the movie theater. So, um, and then at J Dylan's a couple months ago, I watched Medea Goes to Jail. So when I saw Boo and Boo 2 were on TV over the week, Saturday they were on, I DVR'd them, so... I will be watching those. I started watching on Netflix the show called Ratched. Yeah. Um, I've watched three episodes. I'm not sure if I like it. Now, I watched it when Justin was here. Justin loved it. I'm still on the fence. But Mary from... In, um, Mary... What is her channel name? I forget. But her... her um, wife is Tanya from Gemini. Is it Gemini Coloring? Gemini Crafts? Anyways, they said to keep watching it. It gets better. So, that's what I started watching on there. I try not to pick up new TV series, but I thought, well, at least watch a couple that are on Netflix. Maybe something on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to share with you guys that I've bought. I'm not buying any more diamond painting kits for a while. I'm set. Um, I'm hoping to start Dreamer Designs next month. That's the sledding to town because I believe it's Tia and Rebecca from Craft and Journey are doing a Dreamer Di Dreamer Designs di Diamond Paint in the Lawn. 
And that's the only Dreamer designs I have, and it has to do with winter. It's not specifically Christmas. It's for winter, so I thought I would do that and work on the frog as well, that naughty frog. So I'm trying to finish Hollow Eve by Bella Safina. I love the Bella Safina kit, but I must be totally honest with you, and I'll tell you in my post review when I finish it, I'm not thrilled with these magnets. They're flimsy. They're not very strong. I am used to magnets that you have to pull really hard. So I don't feel that these are, I don't know, they're just not strong enough for me. They're very pretty. I love this. It has a little spider on it, you know, and it goes along with the kit I got. And they're cover minders. I don't ever use cover minders because I use the 5x5 five five parchment papers. But I thought, well, since this kit came with the cover minders, which in cross-stitch terms, these are needle minders. They're not even strong enough to be needle minders. I think I'm just going to stick them on the fridge and leave them up on the fridge. Otherwise, yeah, I love I love working on the Bella Safina. The the drills are really nice. There's not much trash. The canvas is nice and sticky. I haven't had any issues with it, so I'm loving it. And I'm hoping to do a video with though with that sometime as well. But that's it for today. I really, really need to get ready. I will talk to you all later. I love you guys. You all have a great day. And maybe I will chat again tomorrow. Bye-bye.